Welcome to the NADGEOS installation for the second part. So we were, we had completed the second, that was a thir third option and now we were heading for the next, the fourth step to go ahead and uh, configure it. So let's go ahead and do that now. So let's read what exactly the fourth step says. Customize configuration. Sample configuration files have now been installed in the user local NATGEOS etc directory. These sample files should work fine. For getting started with NATGEOS, you need to make just one change before you proceed. So what it has to it has to be done is so we have to go ahead and uh, configure a file that's under the user local library files so let's copy this edit so copy this and go ahead by using nano I'll edit the file. So here you need to scroll down and uh, look for an email address which we have to. So it says change this to your email address to get or receive alerts. So let me put in our email address that is admin at the rate of unix services dot co dot in should be in the one line should not come down to the second line so make sure that it is in the first line itself great so we have done that so what's our next step our next step is to file with your favorite editor and change the email okay so that's that we have completed address associated with the NADGEOS admin contact contact definition to the address you would like to use for receiving alerts so that's fine we have done that next is we have to go ahead and uh, install the web conference so we'll say the fifth step so we'll say use so we'll just copy the make go ahead Install this. So that is installed. And create a NAGEOS admin account for logging into the NAGEOS web interface and remember the password assigned to this account. You will need it later. So let's do that as well by using this command. We're creating an Agios administrative account right now. So it asks for the password. So we have to define the password. We have to retype the password. Great. So what's the next step? So our next step is to restart apache to make the new settings take effect so we use let us use service httpd restart so we'll say service httpd 
restart so that's done for us so this finishes the first level configuration of the NAGIUS. The second thing is we have to go ahead and uh, configure the plugins. So let's do that now. So we'll go back to the directory. That is so the cd space dot dot. So go back to the download directory and uh, we'll use the tar once again. Just copy this. and paste it here so that whatever the contents which were there under plugins so it has created a directory so get into this directory that is Nagios plugins and then start working from here so the next one is so we have to once again go ahead and run the script that's the configure script under this directory so let's do that so it's running now So let's use make install. Then our job is to go ahead and uh, add the Nagios server for the run level. So we are adding the Nagios server for the run level now by using this command that chk config which maintains the run level.
then we'll turn it on so chk config magios on good next we have to verify the nagio sample files so this is the seventh step which we are following to make sure that we don't have any errors so now it shows there are totally zero warnings and zero errors so that that feels good so you, we are feeling good right now so it has no errors so let's continue with our configuration and once we get that there is no errors so we have to make sure that uh, we'll go ahead and start the server so we'll say service nagios start to start the server so successfully done and the next step what it says is the eighth one they say to make sure that the security settings that is the SE Linux security settings has to be gone ahead and modified so now in a our testing scenario situation so let's check what is the security settings so now we have disabled both the firewall as well as well as security so in the other case so they say that run the CGI the common gateway interface under the SE Linux enforcing the target mode so you can use these two commands to apply to them okay so it's time for to it's time for us to start up the server now so let's see so we should remember the password which we have created at the time of uh, installation so we'll say httpd colon sorry http colon it's local host nagios great so we have to use the nagios admin as the password which we had created as a user to administer so this would be the password let us copy this put it here and define the password which we had given so there we go so we have completely successful in creating a Nagios monitoring server so these are the steps which we which you have to follow and suppose once you reboot the system there are maybe at times you may not start up the Nagios server immediately at that time you had to restart the httpd service so this you can just make a note that if the server is rebooted so the httpd service also has to be restarted to start the Nagios server as a point so thank you for viewing have a great day ahead